happen in the world. He does not advocate them, nor does he, um, um, well, he just doesn't, he just tells the, tells the story. And we're all about telling stories. Remember, human beings, when they gathered around the fire, that was storytelling. Storytelling is the root of all culture. Culture allows us to live in places we could not live as human beings. Without storytelling, there is no culture. And without culture, human beings could not exist on the face of the earth. You better give it to him. He's just telling what happened. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to this stage the one, the only, Tate Work. There's a few others. There are many tapeworms. It takes, it takes a lot of tape, tapeworms to do what needs to be done. I'm just one. Uh, this is uh, this is great. Uh, I hear the friendly clowns are in the house. Fights. Friendly cubs. I can't wait. I cannot wait for. Like, Oh, shit. I was going to record it. What the hell? Yeah, you're a tapeworm. You have to start your tape. Yeah, this is it. This is what he does. This he tapes his own recording. Tape this is the gimmick right here. This is a tape recorder, and I'm going to tape it. And, uh... This is the whole gimmick. There's nothing else to it. I think I think Carl, Carl was one of the first people I ever met at the Tabernacle of Hedonism at the old spot on University. And I'm gonna bring this all down. Fifth, six, uh, 73 years ago today, the remains of Elizabeth Short was found in Hollywood, California. Uh, it's still before midnight, yeah. So this is uh, Black Dahlia's lullaby. <laughs> Beth Shore was born July 29th. Raised on Frey family ties. Set out, left Massachusetts behind. For sandy beaches and blue skies. To California with stars in her eyes. And stardom. So Monday was Margaret Schlosser's birthday. She would have turned 16 on Monday, but her mom chopped her arms off while she was an infant. Jesus. And so her mom said that God told her to do it. So she uh, she did two years and they let her out. Oh. It's Texas. I'm gonna attempt this uh, for Margaret Schlosser's 16th birthday. Paranoid schizophrenic church on top of this. She gave birth to Margaret the 
pulls the razor from across the road is becoming more convinced of a fast approaching apocalypse. Hospital psychologist, slightly curious. They sent her home though she seemed quite delirious. Running scared from spirits, can't hide the worst again. The Lord needs a sacrifice, and she was serious. Ignored by child so called protective services. Husband John passed this off as demonic curses. But why would God have told her to cut off her daughter's lip? As the radio played, he touched me. An old church him as poor baby Margaret laughing. Beside her arms in her crib, not guilty by reason of insanity, was the verdict in the nut house forgiven when she renounced her sins. Two years fly by compared to how long others sit their whole lives and or die for nothing when compared with killing your own child for the Lord. Where have we heard that story before? Tests like Abraham and Isaac to bring on the return of Christ at 2 a.m. Praying in silence and for your old daughter will be the sacrifice. And it opens up her eyes as her father brings out the knife. She gasped. She had no time to cry. She died before she could ask why. The next day, about 25 of his fellow Adventists stopped by, and it was like they understood that the cops weren't even notified. But word spread fast in a matter of time. The rest, Charles and his wife, when questioned, he replies. He felt perfectly justified and capable of standing trial. He was free after only two years, and then the silence started new life. Well, justice is blind, and God's to blame for every crime. Congregation possessed with a God complex. Nature is suppressed, and a sickness spreads. Utah, 1981. Sunday, November 22nd, the Mormon family party gets a little weirder. We get the guy to heaven, but nobody thought he was just so intense with God in heaven. He saw the signs while watching Mary Poppins. Jason got the message, told his wife to grab their 11 month old son Paul, and they said their goodbyes. They get some rest, but Jason just got more upset if they go home and watch the rest of the movie. Jason felt special, no one else saw the direction. Mary Poppins reflected. When Abraham was tested, but did he love the Lord as much as Abraham did was the question. Stabbing his 11 month old son Paul in the liver, he bled all over the bed and wood dressing table. And soon he was dead, Jason calmly promised a resurrection. He would receive less than three years in an institution to teach his teacher a lesson. Meanwhile, back to the transgression, Jason vomiting out a blessing. The phone rang. It was a medic, but what they really needed was an exorcist. Congregation possessed with a God complex. Nature is suppressed, and the sickness fucking spreads. Thanks for listening. Oh, and listen to this. One last trick. No, oh, I almost forgot. Whoa! Yeah! Yeah! Over the alligator right there.